I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be Attract Beautiful Women Easily. Basically, how you can go about creating an abundance mentality, an abundance mindset, and also so you can start projecting the energy, the body language, and the physiology of what a dominant alpha male demonstrates. I've also got an email here that I'm going to read to you in a little bit from a guy who's struggling with his girl who hasn't read my book yet. But let's let's jump right in and let's, let's look at women from the perspective of, because I've talked about recently some of my other articles about letting go of what you want, not being attached to things being a certain way. And so you want to look at it this way. How does a dominant male interact with the world. I mean, think about it. It doesn't matter what career he's in, dominant males are leaders. They're very successful. They're very confident at what they do, whether they're selling furniture or they're playing in the NFL or any other professional sport. These guys tend to be successful. They tend to be busy. Because they're dominant and successful, obviously women notice them and find them attractive, but also men want to hang out with these guys. Why? Because these guys usually always have really amazing, beautiful women that are chasing after them. And you think of it this way. If you're sitting sit at home and you really got nothing going on in your life other than one girl that you've met or that maybe you're dating or that you're hoping to meet, the best way that you can present an image to the world and start acting to the world like one of, like a busy, successful, dominant male does. I mean, look at it this way. How, how are guys that are busy and successful all the time? Well, when you call them, more than likely you're going to get their voicemail. And if you leave them a message or you send them a text, it's either going to be several hours or maybe even the next day before they're able to get back to you. Like I said, they're just busy. These guys don't have time for flaky women. They don't have time for women that don't call them back. It because think about it. You like I remember when I was in the, the when I was in real estate, I had a big company with 40 employees, very high profile. We did a lot of television advertising. Every morning when I came in, I would just sit there and just w delete one fucking message after another from a solicitor, somebody wanting a job interview. It just, you know, I have my, my secretaries and my receptionist my, and my personal assistant trained to just screen out all of the calls and just, you know, they, they didn't even notify me of them. I would just see the little red light start blinking that I had a voicemail. And because they knew, obviously, if it was one of my girlfriends calling in, they would, they would put, her, put her through. But that, I mean, that's what happens. Like, even now, I mean, I everybody that works for me now, they're independent contractors, and they're literally all over the world, and we speak through Skype. And I don't have any employees that work for me. Everybody's an independent contractor. But I look at my email inbox, and it's like, I'm looking at it right now, and it's it's full of emails and not, you know people that are asking me questions, people that are looking for free advice. I also got a lot of emails, obviously, from my clients. But it's like every day there's a constant stream of junk mail or somebody that's trying to sell me something or get me to do something or get me to set up a meeting or a lunch meeting or a coffee break. You know That's typically what happens. And so guys like me who are very successful, have successful businesses, guys that are multimillionaires or guys that are just busy with their careers – they don't have time to chase anybody. They're usually just barely able to get back and respond to the phone calls. And so what happens? The squeaky wheel is going to get the oil. And so the women that go out with guys like me and other dominant males are the most beautiful, most successful, and most confident and most dominant women. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. And when they, or when they want a guy, they're going to go after him and they're going to chase him and they're going to be determined to get him. It's the same thing with the clients that I do business with or the customers I interact with. It's You have a busy lifestyle, and so you can't. You don't remember about the girl that didn't call you back when you called her because you don't care. you got five other fucking messages you got to return or you got to get to. And so if you don't have a, a busy, successful life like this, 
You want to get focused on being at your best personally. You want to work on improving every area of your life. Because guys that are really successful, in essence, we're like a walking erection to women. They can sense the dominant energy when we walk into a room. It's just everybody notices, men and women. They can automatically sense it and feel it. And so if, if you don't, your life is not busy or you're not living the business or working in the career that you've always wanted and you're not there, the best thing you can do is act as if. Act as if you're a busy guy like me. You're gonna, it's going to take you time to get back to people. You don't want to sit there and as soon as somebody texts you, you know, you're, uh, you're trying to spit out a response because you're worried if you don't respond to them in 30 seconds, they're going to forget about who you are. I mean, that's the wrong kind of mindset. That's a scarcity mindset. Scarcity mindset kind of has a mindset like, oh my God, I don't want to fuck it up with this girl because this is the last woman that's ever going to talk to me for the rest of my life. Or this is the last woman I'm ever going to be able to sleep with for the rest of my life. And when you're younger and you're inexperienced, you tend to have those kinds of feelings. But the more you have successes, repetition is the mother of skill. Successes build your confidence. And the more success you have, a little more swagger that you have, you tend to act a little more cockier, a little more confident. And people that know you, people that perceive you, they perceive you as successful, they perceive you as a catch. And so not only do you have women after you, but you got all kinds of people, friends, business, you know, kind of business acquaintances, everybody's clamoring for your time. And when you understand like all the stuff that women go through, like with putting the war paint on, working out, picking out just the right tight short skirt that shows off their beautiful curves wearing perfume that smells like fucking cotton candy so you just want to devour her i mean all these things you spend hours and hours in the hair and nail salon these are the things that women do to get a man's attention and this is this is what they do they want to get noticed it's not that they're seeking a guy's approval it's just that they know that they need to get our attention physically. And once they have our attention physically, they're hoping that the the interest will be mutual and that we will penetrate them in every way. Physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally. And it's the same thing when they call you on the phone. That's what they're they're hoping they're trying to help you facilitate getting together, creating an opportunity for sex to happen. Well, most guys are so busy chasing after women and blowing up their phone because they're trying to get some kind of certainty. Does she still love me? Do you still like me? Do you still care about me? I know I just talked to you 20 minutes ago, but do you still feel the same way? Is there a chance that you won't feel this way tomorrow? And that's what they do. It's They're acting like a bunch of fucking women. That's why they get rejected. That's why women don't call them back. Because they're, you know, feminine women want a strong, dominant, masculine man. And when a guy chases and pursues a woman like that, he's basically acting like a feminine woman. And that's why they get stuck in friendship zone or they get treated like the male girlfriend. So I got a quick email here from a guy who, uh, let me just jump right in and read it to you. He says, hey Corey, I just read an article on your website. I've been dating a girl for nine months and now my gut feeling is telling me I'm getting played. I made a few mistakes, however I dressed my mistakes and am willing to change for the better. But I feel it is already too late. We had a rough two months where we were on and off and now she says we are going to work this out and be okay. I don't know if I should believe this or, or what. Judge a woman by what she does, not what she says. Just look at her actions. She loves hanging out with my roommate who lives next door and I've already told her and him that I don't appreciate it and they don't care. Well, I mean, the bottom line is if this girl's going to cheat on you, she's going to cheat on you. There's not a goddamn thing you can do to stop it. The only thing you can do is show up and be at your best personally by focus on building and creating the life that you want, by focus on getting school, you know, getting through school and getting your degree so you can start chasing your dreams. That'll make you more attractive to her. Sitting around worrying whether she's going to leave you or not, she will eventually if you keep doing that. I'm almost 25 and she's almost 21. We both go to the same school. How can I find out if she's getting with other guys? She tells me nothing is going on, but that's not enough. You're acting needy and you're acting insecure. This kind of behavior is going to drive her away. Your attitude should be, 
hey, if she's going to cheat on you, she's going to cheat on you. If she does, it's her fucking loss, and you feel that way. Because you got choices, you got options. If she's not calling you, then spend your time with somebody else. It's like, don't waste your time with this kind of nonsense. If she loved me like I love her, she would listen to what I had to say and do it. Correct. All you can do is ask a Women aren't robots. She, all you can do is ask them in a loving way and tell them in a loving way what you want and how you want to be treated. And they're either going to treat you that way or they're not. And if they won't, you have a choice. You can either put up with it or you can leave her and go find somebody who will treat you the way you want to be treated. Let's see. It says here... I've already concluded that this is the girl I want to spend my life with. I mean, that's a bunch of crap. You're unsure of... I mean, you don't even know where you stand with this girl yet. You don't know what you know. You ha don't know. You, don't, you haven't even read my book yet. And you just simply don't have enough experience to make these kind of determinations that this is the woman you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Well, she's not treating you like the guy that she's going to spend the rest of her life with. And so you need to take her down off the fucking pedestal and look objectively, realistically, at what her actions are and treat her accordingly. Look at page 120 of my book. I go into whole, I got a whole interest level table there that can tell you exactly where you stand with her in every moment. Uh, basically, he, want, he wants to know what to do. The first thing I would do is read my book. Second thing is I'd book a paid phone coaching session with me personally by clicking the products tab at the top of your screen. You got to get through my book, and you got to start reading and applying it. Because you keep, if you keep doing what you're doing, and you keep acting like a needy, insecure guy that is basically treating this woman like she's the only option in the world. She's eventually going to going to dump you and blow you off, and then you're going to be heartbroken. And you know, look at it this way: if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always got, which is things are going to continue to get worse with this girl. So if you find this message of value, you can show your appreciation by going down to the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen and click the PayPal Donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information in this video. At the very least, please share this page with all your friends and family by clicking any one of the social network sharing buttons, which are also located in the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen. And if you've got a question that you want to ask me or there's a topic you want me to cover in a future newsletter or video newsletter, Click the contact me, which is on the left-hand side of your screen, and send me three or four paragraphs detailing your situation, and just give me several days to get back to you with a detailed response, because I get a lot of email, and i got to answer the stuff from my paying clients first. And if you'd like to book a paid phone coaching session so I can help you one-on-one -on -one with a specific challenge or a situation you need help with, click the products tab at the top of your screen, and I will talk to you soon.